Hello, fourth graders. Today we will be looking at different types of shapes. We will be determining where that line of symmetry is. Symmetry is an imaginary line that passes through objects and shapes. Looking at our worksheet, you see a die, a rectangle, circles, and ovals, and spheres, and even ice cream cones. But today we are only going to focus on our rectangle and our oval. Looking at our rectangle, do you think you can determine where our line of symmetry will be? Where could you draw an imaginary line to help us figure out everything on the left and everything on the right matching up to be the same? When I think of symmetry, I always think of a butterfly. So give yourself a moment and I want you to think if you were to put a line of symmetry, where would you place it in our rectangle to help us determine our line of symmetry? I'll give you a moment. All right, if you determine that a line of symmetry can go vertically, you are correct. If we were to fold that rectangle in half, we will notice that both sides will match up perfectly. However, I hope you noticed that we can also draw a horizontal line to show a line of symmetry. Both of those lines will help us determine if our shape is symmetrical. Let's move on to the oval for a second. I'm gonna give you a minute and I want you to determine where a line of symmetry could go. Go ahead. All right, let's check it out fourth graders. I know how smart fourth graders are and I know that you chose to draw a vertical line showing a line of symmetry there. You also determined that if we drew a horizontal line again, we will find a line of symmetry there as well. Attached to these links, you will find a really awesome video detailing what symmetry is. You can also go on to a fun and engaging activity online that you can continue to practice your symmetrical shapes. Have a great day, fourth graders.